coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anisia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. The Ministry of Education is hoping to change the educational landscape of St. Lucia through art. The Ministry endorsed the third annual Arts Conference for Teachers, which according to the Deputy Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Kendall Kodra, was an opportunity to create and sustain the professional learning communities that must be developed so that the art programs can be strengthened within all schools. Kodra is hopeful that the art program would be expanded into printmaking, photography, computer art, sculpture and papier-mâché. The Deputy Permanent Secretary also hopes that art will evolve to become integral to all overall teaching method within schools. St. Lucia's Carnival celebrations continued this past weekend with a number of activities including Groovy and Power Soka Monarch on Saturday. Rikiti retained his title as Power Soka Monarch King, whilst Sly Vietwizin was crowned the new Groovy Soka Monarch King. The Saab playing field came alive on Sunday as the children came out in their splendor to depict what carnival means to them. Grozile Junior Carnival Band emerged winners with the depiction of something fishy. The World Pediatric Project, in collaboration with the Ministry of Health, are conducting its second annual free scoliosis clinic on island. The clinic will cater to all children aged 0 to 21 years. The clinic was held at the Victoria Hospital on Tuesday, July 9th from 11 a.m and will be held at the St. Jude Hospital on Wednesday, July 10th from 8 a.m. Parents and guardians are asked to work with their children's recent x-rays when attending the clinic. The village of Canaries recently saw the implementation of two developmental initiatives, that is the rebranding of the ICT Access Centre to the Innovation and Career Development Centre and the launch of the Youth and Adult Literacy Programme, Yes I Can. The centers will not only focus on technology, but also serve as a medium for citizens to obtain career guidance, among other things. The Yes I Can program is an initiative between the government of St. Lucia and the government of Cuba. It is a literacy program developed in Cuba that is a teaching method for adult education and has been implemented in many countries the world over. Minister for Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development Honorable Dr. Gil Rigabat indicated that the launch and rebranding marked the commencement of the implementation of a suite of initiatives geared towards better equipping citizens to access opportunities for self-advancement and economic independence. The official ceremony was held on Sunday, July 7, 2019 at the Innovation and Career Development Center in Canaries. This has been your Media News Brief. Thank you for watching.